Hello, golfers. Welcome back to JD Golf TV, your home for pursuing excellence in golf. I'm John Dunnigan, your coach, and today's lesson is the single most important drill you will ever do for your full swing. Let's get after it. We're going to talk about, well, we're really not going to talk about it very much. We're going to demonstrate it more. I do, I would really, I would really love it if you didn't have a whole bunch of words in your head. But if you had pictures and maybe some feels, that would be really, really cool. So anyway, we go up, point the club up, down you go. Let it go back up again. Swing, swing. My students in the area realize this, or they understand this as the swing, swing, swing. When I get to here on the little one, both arms are pretty straight. But that's a really, 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 really big deal. We are going to end this kind of crap forever. It's a disease. So point it up, throw it down. Now you might think that we're flipping this club because the club is passing the hands. Folks, that flip is an essential part of the golf swing. It's when it happens, that's the key. So when I try to get this thing to release, if you will, which is basically take off, fly like I'm throwing it into the screen, when that occurs, well, it could occur back here. No bueno, now it is a flip but the same exact motion could occur out there. Now it's not a flip because the flip isn't the flaw. It's the timing of this release. Does that make sense? And watch this now. I'm gonna release it more at the screen out there. Do you notice his body move? Look at that rotation. Rotation actually is natural. And if you think about this, if I was going to throw this ball, what do you see me doing? I'm going, to, I'm going to turn first. And I don't ever have to say the words turn to myself. If you've grown up throwing a golf, nah, okay, fine. If you haven't thrown up, if you haven't grown up throwing stuff, okay, this might be a little more challenging. But if you played sports as a younger person, or if you are a younger person playing sports, this is very natural to you. And I want you to use that analogy of throwing in your golf game. It'll help a ton. Why don't we put a ball in the way? So it's the swing, 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 swing. Yes, three swings. And we're using this swing catalyst, which is a software that helps me evaluate swings. And it has on it this force plate. This is actually a pressure plate that does, as I, I will get into it in a different video, but it's doing pressure under my feet and now analyzing where my pressure, I could be on the toes too much, heels too much, outside of the feet, inside, whatever it is. Not the subject for today, but we're using the software that's an integral part of this piece of hardware to help us record these videos so that I can show them back to you. Okay, swing, swing, swing. Number one, just a small one, almost no body. Let's go again. Swing, 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 swing. Okay, here we go. Swing, swing. Okay, that's drill number one. Simple enough, right? Pretty darn simple swing. While you're doing this, I want you to make sure you're taking a look at your finish. Okay, I don't want to see that bending. I want to see those arms very much together. Boy, you're going to see most of the pros in the world. Even folks that have a little bit of bend here, by the time they get here, they're throwing the club. The club effectively weighs about 100 pounds. It's trying to pull your arm straight. So folks, when you have the chicken wing going on, do you know how much, well, maybe you don't have any speed, so you're not creating the force throwing out away from you, or you are resisting like nobody's business. You're fighting off a very good move in your swing. Maybe for a different reason. Maybe you are releasing it way back here instead of throwing it way out there. 
I use release and throw very, very much synonymously. Shall we add some more swing? So swing, 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 swing. Now I love it when you bounce the club. You can hear it bouncing. Add a little bit more. I just added some turn, folks. Okay, here we go. Ready, and swing, swing. Oh, baby, that was hit good. That's part two, a little bit bigger. And we're going to go a little bit more. What a great way to warm up. Swing, 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 swing. Add some turn, but mostly I'm swinging, turning, swinging, turning. Okay, here we go. A little bigger, over the shoulder now. So that one went kind of over the shoulder to over the shoulder. And that was a seven iron, not hit with full speed or full size. Trackman says that thing went 157. Isn't that something? Finally, we have the full swing. And I'm going to have a fuller turn for this old body and a fuller finish once again for this old body. And now we have our full swing. And there you go, folks. The swing, swing, swing. And what I want you to do after you get that done, check yourself. After you get it done, I want you to go ahead and start having the face open. Hit the ball to the right. Face too close. Hit the ball to the left. Face just straight. Hit the ball straight. And start working with the confines of the swing, swing, swings. Yep. Working where the ball goes with it. Okay? Get after it.